This is the aftermath of fighting between Shayad groups in the center of Basra. Militants affiliated to influential leader Muqtada Sadr exchanged fire with a splinter group backed by Iran. Both sides suffered casualties. At night, armed people started to gather here. Intense gunfire went on, machine guns, anti-aircraft weapons. Even the children were screaming. People were afraid in their homes. Cars broke apart. All the houses here were impacted by gunfire. There was firing. We woke up terrified. The area here had become a front line. God is our witness. Basra turned into Mosul. This car was impacted. It burned. This one broke apart. Over there, a shop burned. Even our homes were hit. Our children kept screaming. Basra is Iraq's main oil-producing hub. And this escalation in violence follows fighting in Baghdad on Monday. The political crisis pits followers of the powerful Shayat political leader Muqtada Sadr against mostly Iran-aligned parties and parliamentary groups. Sadr's supporters emerged as the biggest party in parliament in elections in October, but weren't able to form a government. Iraq has had a caretaker government ever since. In Baghdad, the Supreme Court has postponed ruling on a petition filed by Sadr's movement until next Wednesday. It demands the dissolution of parliament and early elections. But this agreement between the political rivals goes beyond that. Mahmoud Abdul Wahid, Al Jazeera, Baghdad.